guys, it's Christiana. I was inspired to do this art um, because I was going through the beginner's book for, you know, for new artists, art, artists. <laughs> and um, I saw this picture. I love the black trees in the background. And in this art, you need paint, you know, color paint. But I didn't have any. So what I did was I took my crayons and I started to do my own thing. I couldn't get the, you know, the liquid effect from the, um, from the watercolor. So I just, I just went crazy and I just did the background, you know, just really cute, just really different. I don't like to copy. I like to be inspired and I like to do my own art. So I just went all the way and did the background with the inspiration, inspiration of, you know, the watercolor in the background. But the trees, um, if you look from this side of my art, you can see the trees being inspired like the one in the picture. But um, I just went ahead and I did my own thing with the trees. But my, the purpose of my art is not just the book inspire me. It's the story behind my art. The story behind my art is this. No one skin is better than the other. The roots of, the, of my art just pretty much represent we all come from the same roots. We are all human. You cannot make an animal a human being and you cannot make a human being an animal unless you mix the two together to get this weird looking creature. But um, the black represent uh, black people and the white represent white people. No human being is as white as that leaf or as black as the root of that tree. We all come from the same root. It, from the same roots and we're all human beings so no one is therefore better than the other if you look up here it looks like a face I didn't really put a face in there but it was something like a face I tried to do over there with the with the roots but it's pretty much representing a human being but you can pretty you can really see this you can see it just a little bit if you look at the circle and um the houses represent this is the difference between human there are some people who live in large houses as the, hearts, the houses over in the back. And there are some people who live in small houses as the houses coming down a hill. And there are some people that live in huts as the people in the village do. And, and then there are religion. So it doesn't matter. I mean, you can see a little, you can see the cross over here, over the church. But it doesn't even have to be only a cross. It could be like, you know, different, different signs on it. But for me, I'm a Christian. So what I did was put a cross over this little um, building that looked like a, a halt or a chaplain. So my art pretty much saying that um, the difference between humans being is there's, there are some poor. There are some people in life that are just poor. And then there are some people who are middle class. And then there are some people who choose to be rich. But up the hill or down the hill in life. No matter where you live, you could live in a suburb or you could live in a village. You are not better than another person. Your skin doesn't make you better than a person. Your character defines who you are. So this whole racism, I'm African, I'm Liberian. This whole racism, racism thing is crazy to me. It blows my mind because why? Why don't we just care and love for each other? Okay, this person believe in this God and you believe in this God. You believe in your God, okay? You believe in your God and if, if you live your life and show people how you believe in your God. If you're white, okay, be white. But remember that you're a human being. If you're black, okay, remember you're black. But you're a human being. You, no one is better than the other person. But I just love this beautiful art because I just got very inspired to do something creative, something out of the ordinary, just something in my own mind. And I just love my art. But the little hearts remind me of Africa, the little um, hut over here, because I've seen those before and they're so cute. And just the leaves are pretty. I just, it, everything about my art I love. But I'm so glad that I was inspired, not only by this book, but inspired by racism. And just saying we're all beautiful because this whole world is 